This year, there's a lot of talk about Jim coming home. Jimmy's coming back to the Fonda Speedway. What more fitting place for the king to head than a place with a palace in turn four? So Jimmy, the Cow Palace awaits. Right now, we're going to call you up to the stage because you are our latest inductee to the Niska Hall of Fame. It's Jim King. Again, the New York State Stock Car Association Hall of Fame is sponsored by Boomer's Performance in memory of Robert Boomer Bedell. Brian Bedell up here on the stage to congratulate Jim King along with our NISCA president, Mark Krosky. We'll give you a couple of photographs. No guns. <laughs> That's an inside joke. <laughs> well, we talked about that earlier. But once we get the photographs, we'll get a few words with the King as our latest inductee to the NISCA Hall of Fame. I know you got your hands full, but we got to speak a couple moments earlier tonight. Congratulations, Jim. Uh, it's been a long, long career. And what I said about those lessons I learned, uh, I learned a few. I probably picked up a few more just by listening uh, from the grandstands, but uh, this is a treat for me to be. I know Freddie was really looking, uh, really looking forward to being up here with you. Uh, it's too bad he couldn't make it, but uh, it's a treat for me to, to be part of this here tonight. You know, Dan, it's, uh, it, it's kind of an interesting situation to be on this side of it. I've been where you're standing many, many times. I've inducted a whole lot of people into the Hall of Fame here, and, and uh, I'll tell you what, there's nothing like it uh, to be recognized by your peers, you know, and to be part of this great group. I, I, I certainly do appreciate it. Now, Jimmy, let's uh, take a minute. We'll talk about, and, and I know, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be so quick to jump and say you don't have a favorite moment. But you've had so many moments to ask you to pick a favorite, it's really kind of unfair. But just, again, talking about, and when they talked about Jimmy King going back to Fonda, my first response was Jimmy King is Fonda. And Fonda awaits. Uh, some of the best memories I have of Fonda Speedway are some of the nights that you had some, uh, uh, some landmark moments. Harry beat the way for years, came back to, let, to the Fonda Speedway that night, picked up a modified feature event win, and I thought the stands were coming down that night. You were lucky enough to announce the Monk's final feature event victory. A couple of moments that just stand out in one heck of a career. You know, there was a, a few, um, that race with, with Lula Zero when he, he won his last race with Mike Romano. Mike did everything to him that night but throw his helmet at him. And uh, I talked to Mike about that race a couple of times and that is a, a moment that I'll never forget when Mike said that it seemed like Louie had radar in the car that night. If he tried to go low, Louie went low. If he went high, Louie went high. And just like he knew exactly what Mike was going to do that night. I think it was a destined that, that Louie should win one more that night. The night that Andy Romano won his only race. I got to call that race at the Fonda Speedway. That, I think that was my favorite thing of all was when somebody jumped up and won a race, you know, when you didn't didn't expect him to win a race, and uh, I got, you know, the career goes on, the beat goes on. Jimmy Becker's sitting next to me over there, and I got to announce his first career win. You know, and that type of stuff, that's what we live for. That's what it's all about. It's nice that somebody can win 15 races in a year. I announced at Orange County Speedway, we had 24 races. Brett Hearn won 12, and Carl Collis won 12. That was a, well, excuse me, Collis won 11, because Tiny Milano won one of them. You know, that's the kind of stuff that announcers live for, and, and uh, going back to Fonda this year, uh, you know, it's been a long time. It's been a long time since 1972. I'm just tickled that the DiLorenzo Motorsports Group chose me, and I get a chance to go back. Toby uh, is going to be my assistant announcer. He's going to be my perp patrol guy uh, in the pit area. He's going to get the stories together for me, and I'm really looking forward to it. I think we're going to have fun. Well, and uh, you just made, you know, we just talked about the landmark victories. You and I have had the conversation many times, and I know just about every announcer shares it, that first win, the raw emotion, the pure excitement of the whole deal. Um, some of those guys that you have been able to announce first wins are they're on the Hall of Fame list now. Yeah, that's, that's actually very true. A lot of them are in the Hall of Fame, and uh, it's good that they beat me here. You know, it's, uh, that's really a good thing. I'm looking forward to this summer. We're going to do a couple of nights of racing each weekend. We've kind of put the motocross behind us now. Uh, we're back to doing what our roots are. And I, I really think we're going to have some fun this summer. And as I tell everybody, all you drivers that are in the crowd, all you car owners that are in the crowd, don't be afraid to come see us. Like I told Danny and I told everybody I've ever worked with, we're here. We're your publicity department. We're your public relations firm. 
just let us know and we'll take care of your business for you if you need something. We always have and we always will. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the Nisca Hall of Fame. Thanks, Dan. Ladies and gentlemen, our latest inductee, Mr. Jim King.